Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In the ninth video, somebody posted on Facebook how you could center names or text in a, in a name badge. And a couple of people have already answered it, and they answered it correctly. But I thought, thought I would throw a different wrench in here. Let's say all your name badges are going to have Austin, Texas. But the names are going to be separate, different. So this would, to me, be the quickest way. Unless you're using print merge, and that's a totally different animal. And that's for people that, you know, hundreds of names or more than, you know, 30 names and a bunch of different changes. Then you'd want to learn how to do print merge. I don't use print merge because I don't do that vast quantities of different name tags at one time. And normally uh, the customer just sends me a, their, the names and I fill them in. So lasso both these, edit, clone. I've got my nudge factor set on 3.1 and I'll show you in just a second. Now you make a duplicate of that. You got four different name tags. You don't want to mess with the first one because it's your original clone. So you go to right up here to the edit text and just type, take away James and type in Doug Blue. It's going to be in the center still because it was in the center originally. I don't care what you change. You know, you can make it, his name is just Al. We're center justified. So I think that's the key. So that's one way. That's one way if, if something's the same, Austin, Texas, or, or a company logo or a company name, then that works great. But her real, or their question was, how, let's just, I want three names at least. Let's change this. So we've got three names here. Customers emailed you. You want to put this somewhere on your workspace. Now, and I've made a video about this, control D, move it over. You want your name badges in a row. And I'm going to tell you why, because if you took this name badge and put it down here, just, you know, miss well, making name badges and putting them here. Well, Two, it's a little slower, and three, if one of them's a little bit higher than the other, when it goes to print, it's going to start printing this one all by itself. I use bottom-up engraving, if you use top-up, it's going to start printing all these, and then finally have to finish on that one. So you want, if you use a duplicate, then you've got them all the same. But their question was answered, or the question was answered, you hold down, I mean, number of ways, I just, I'm just, lassoing both of them and then I'm going to hit the letter C like in cat it's going to align it vertically then I'm going to hit the letter E and it's going to line it align it horizontally you don't even have to be in the box as long as you grab them both it'll put it in the center of those two boxes you know let's put this one way down here it's already in the center pretty much both ways, but we'll see that's really quick. That's a neat trick. Use a line and distribute. It's under a range, a line, and you can see your shortcuts right here. A line left, top, right. I made many of videos on this, and I use it all the time. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.